Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Envoy with me, Bregatalon. Let's set out into our next mission, Burning Bridges. Mountain Bridge. When I was younger, I felt invincible. Then I lost a friend to a landslide. Another one perished at the sea. I'm not one to back out from a fight. There's no fighting the forces of nature. And have you tried punching the sea? Or punching a tree. I'm not saying you'll win, but you can't fight them. It was just a glimpse, but I saw some peculiar shapes on the bridge as we flew past. I saw it too. We'd better stay on our guard and scout the area before we plant the bomb. I can't stop worrying that someone might get caught up in the aftershock. The Empire has already proven that they don't care as much about such details. As if the League was any better. This is war, right? It's always based on a presupposition that the ones you side with are capable of no misdeed. <laughs> and where does that put us, huh? You know, if we work for both parties. Guess that's something we'll worry about later. For now, we should at least secure the area around the bridge before we plant the explosives. Have all day. Yeah, I'm sure there's to be some more dilemma to this quest. Yeah. Hot. Let's get going. Here I come. Fire golems. Try and keep that guy occupied. We'll drop this right there. Oh yeah. Time for Plan B. That, and then we use headshot to try and finish him off. So headshot was overkill, it took too long to cast, and so he only had maybe a sixth of his health left. Also, he's taking a lot of damage. Get Malachi over here. And try and crowd control those guys. What's the plan? That's the most damage I've seen Benedict take. Mm -hmm. Right. Follow me. Taunted and occupied. Yeah. Right, she might be able to finish him off. Nowhere near close. <laughs> what do you 
I'll try to distract them as well. Dogs are running all the way around. Why can't you just go this way? What's the plan? Yes. That's a little overkill. Time for plan B. That's me. Yeah. It's the first time we've seen a simple amulet. Does it belong to any of the factions? No Marauder, it's not a Marauder, Elven, or uh, Imperial design. We've seen stuff like that before, but it's been a while. Camp. Uh, the camp is abandoned, but there are no signs of combat. Sure, why not? Gotcha! Speak your mind. Hmm? Get ready. I think her headshot just missed this guy. I'm pretty sure I saw it just blow right past him. Oh yeah. What do you propose? Ow. What's the plan? Oh, I didn't see the spider ambush. That one would have got me. <laughs> if it was a spider, it would have bit me. Here I Let's come. Going. Or a snake, for that matter. Sure. Mm-hmm. Follow me. Sure, why not? Sounds interesting. Alright, so this path may be a way to circumvent these unusual gotcha. vines, so let's inspect that first. Sure. Hmm. I don't think they've noticed us. What's going on over there? It's like some sort of a ritual. What do they need all these bodies for? So, 
Anima. These humans are useless even after death. I thought that mindlessly following orders was what they were good for. What a shame. Hey, look at these puppets. It seems that somebody actually animated them with success. Bravo. Now, who was it? Puppets? Don't tell me those are... You aren't? Shit! Kill the intruders! Maybe they'll make for better resources! Uh, probably not, though. Execute that guy real quick. Uh, let's get a gun turret out. We'll crowd control both of them. And I come in from behind as well. Let's pull back. Uh, Benedict can tank that side. I selected Benedict earlier. He's supposed to stay on that side. I right, taunt them. Put down another gun turret. Let's try to execute that guy, though. He probably has way too much health. Maybe not, we just melted through all those guys. <laughs> Good job, team. These mages, they were trying to bring dead soldiers back to life. No better than the Empire. Told you. We should make sure they're gone. Together with the bridge. A ritual site. Pardon. All right, before we cross the bridge then, let's go back. We saw this other marker over here. This might be Amelia's husband. I'm guessing he's going to be dead, or one of these, quote, puppets. Just a little walk. We don't have all day. Out of my way! Lord Magella? Collapse Passage, one of many around these parts. Oh, what a peculiar meeting we have here. Captain, 
Who are these humans? You! You're that sick bastard from the mines! Yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, the former overseer of... Wait, what? You son of a... Wait, wait, friends. What's gotten into you? I've rewarded you handsomely for your heroic rescue. Now all that's left is mutual respect, right? Mutual respect? Are you joking? We've seen your hidden stash together with all the victims you left behind. Oh, right. That's most unfortunate indeed. I didn't really have time to tidy my humble office. I wasn't expecting guests, as I'm sure you understand. There's no need for hostility, though. I'll gladly look the other way and save you the trouble of fighting my men. In fact, I'll even whisper a good word about you to my League superiors. I never forget a friendly face, you know. What say you? Oh, we slay monsters. Make him pay. You were never a friendly face. We should have left you to rot in that cell in the first place. Very well. Such a waste of life. Men to arms. He said with great enthusiasm. There they are. So I'm guessing if we spared him here, we would see him again. He'd probably offer yet another reward, but we'll go ahead and put him down. Mm -hmm. We don't really need rewards because we can craft our own gear, so <laughs> we're not really incentivized to spare him. Sure. Summon. What's happening? Me? Me. Oh, we didn't aggro the other group. Yeah. It sure. works for me. Stuck on this side. There we go. What's the plan? What's on your mind? Yeah, I'm pretty bad about. Place my summons in my party's way so they can't get to the fight. Uh, reinforcement request. A thin piece of paper poking from inside a thick, leather-bound book filled with daily military reports. Quest status denied. Reason. The Empire firmly believes in the capability of its soldiers. Reinforcements are only issued in dire situations that threaten the territory status. From a small, illegible signature, there is a date. This note was sent merely a week ago. Follow me. Ah, uh, that might be an upgrade for Vaso. 
I mean, less damage, less skill power, so never mind. So she could duo it instead of using a shield. That's more skill power. Well, no, the shield gives skill power too. It's only 3%. So maybe that's better. Sounds interesting. I don't mind the uh, style of that dual wielding either. Normally I don't care for dual wielding, even though I have Leon currently doing it. But since she's not actually holding it, it's more like a, a passive dual wield. Why not? So the aesthetic is a little better. Listening. Patient, what's that? I'm listening. See a target. Fun without risk. Is that the best you've got? Gotcha. <laughs> Let's get going. Going fast. Not now. Oh yeah. What do you propose? Actually, Cessia's got that guy. On your command. Why is he stuck in place? There you go. Uh, that might be an upgrade for Malachi. Uh, same damage, actually, but it can do poison, which synchronizes better with Cestia. 10% chance of vulnerable, lifesteal, resistance strip, explode, radius is less. Uh, I'm gonna be okay without that, I think. Mm -hmm. Hi, right, Crystal Dagger. Well, I'm glad I didn't buy that before because I found one here. I've been looking at the tiers, so I wonder. Let me look at something. Yeah, multi shots tier one, multi shot tier two. That's why the stats go up. Okay, so you can't find different tier unique weapons. So the Crystal Dagger. 25% uh, chance to inflict weakness, 10% chance to inflict dazed. Damage ignores enemy armor. The entirety of the damage ignores enemy armor. That's pretty good. A critical chance plus 5%, critical damage plus 10%, life steal plus 13%, armor penetration plus 5, and mana drain plus 2. I'm a little disappointed in myself in that most of my companions are using ranged weapons. Now, it's possible we'll still find a companion that's designed to use, like, a two-handed melee or something. Sure, why not? But most of the classes don't seem thematically suited to uh, uh, use me. melee weapons. We don't have all day. Because Engineer and Ranger both seem, well, and the Adept, 
Gotcha. But maybe we could turn Kayla into a melee machine and then use her Colossus form to yeah. melt through enemies. Plus, she's fairly tanky already. Maybe I'll look and see what the Elementalist mm -hmm. class does. I like the idea of the Colossus. Main gate. How did you get through my students? <laughs> Guess they were not as competent as they claimed to be. Bested by such low lives. Whatever foul magic you're teaching, that ends today. Your inability to understand things does not make them inherently foul. Do not let your stupidity cloud your judgment, human. Though I would expect no less from Empire Pawns. Have you no morals? These people were prisoners of war, not lab rats to experiment on. Why would I waste my time trying to convince minds as small and closed as yours anyway? Then it's time to get rid of you and your sick practices. I look forward to showing you the skills my students were yet to master. Prepare to witness the true power of a Chaos Shard. I'm sure I'll be very impressed. Okay. I'm a little impressed. What do you propose? Order. Not now. Why would you run that way? It seems like the worst way to run. Freeze that guy, I revive him, and maybe she can take him out before she goes down. Nice. Okay, we can probably still clutch this out, maybe. Gun turret down. Uh, Cestia's still doing okay. Right, headshot this guy for big damage. Nice. Right, Cestia went down, but that was expected here. On your command. Try and taunt this guy away from her and run away. Mobilize, freeze. Alright, Kayla's doing just fine. Speak. Benedict is starting to struggle a little bit, it seems. Soldier deserves better than what they did to those poor bastards. I'm glad we were able to put a stop to this. Some knowledge comes with a heavy price. A part of me wishes I'd never learned of this. Let's set the explosives so we can finally leave them in peace. Well, we pieces. Will bury the bodies together with the bridge. Neither will get exploited by the League anymore. Right. Alright, so Amelia's husband's probably in that pile. A letter from the League. 
a letter in beautiful handwriting with a heavy seal dangling uselessly on the bottom of the page. To whom it may concern? The organization, the Chaos Shards, is hereby requested to cease and desist from any actions which may result in an association being made by affiliation of, to the League. The League wishes to distance itself from all implications of supporting your questionable practices. Upon receiving this letter, you are considered officially informed of these concerns and will henceforth be held accountable for all future transgressions. If you do not want to comply with this demand, the League will be forced to withdraw all aid and support for your cause and research. It does not seem to have discouraged the Chaos Shards at all. Yes. Ooh, cooldown reduction. Sure. And skill power. Actually, this is probably where Amelia's husband's at. I didn't see that marking on the map. I have a few possible upgrades. Bodies. The body stash here were mutilated beyond recognition. The skin was peeled off in some places to reveal a swollen, gushy mass of rot. We don't have all day. Follow me. Let's get going. The bodies on this cart look different. Those aren't regular Empire uniforms. What do you mean by that? The troops that were stationed at this bridge wouldn't be so high ranking. They even have dedicated patches on their coats. Remus A. Nisus V. Vesta T. Giano D. There are more people there, all with name patches. Giano? Like that lady we ran into near the embassy. Shit. Kayla, remember what the recruiter said? Uh, about some special forces sent here before us? Oh no. How can an elite force get killed off like that? Must have been caught off guard. The Empire probably sent them in blind. Let's take the patches with us. She'd appreciate knowing what happened to him. We should also bring some proof of what happened here to the Empire. All right, let's look at some potential upgrades. So tenacity, 4%, max health plus 1.5%, armor plus 4%, and magic shield plus 3%. Might actually be good on Benedict. Uh, less armor in general. Armor's 265, we equip this. 318. That'd be 293. So this does look like an upgrade for Benedict. Just for armor stacking. Alright, this is probably an upgrade for, well, anybody, right? Skill power plus 8%. She doesn't have skill power under current amulet at all. Weapon reduction plus 6%, max mana plus 14%, and magic shield plus 14%. Yeah, we go with that. Now this one with the cooldown reduction... Uh, healing power. Actually, we'll let her keep her quest item. Not gonna change that out. Give him that one. And we found something else. What was it? Is it amulet? The helmet. I think it was this. So skill power, cooldown reduction, and max mana. This might be an upgrade just because of the skill power. We could swap this out too, but I like the each weapon attack decreases active cooldowns by one second. 
I think that's mostly what Slogger did. Uh, spam Ice Bolt. Now I'm wondering. Maybe I should start giving her speed. How much speed does she currently have? None. So speed with this, I think, will be a really powerful combination. So skill power, cooldown reduction. And this cooldown seems so long anyway, I think I like stacking weapon damage on him. Let's give this to her instead of the Elven Ring. Alright. And then I'm going to call it here, and next time we'll pursue Price of Indifference. And we'll go to the Village in the Forest and do the League's Quest. Yeah. We can actually blow up the bridge. At least not yet. I'm sure we will mm -hmm. as we leave. But either way, for now, I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.